The SwimOutlet.com Team Division. Custom team gear, bulk discounts, all the best racing brands. Build your own online team store in just minutes. Go to SwimOutlet.com slash teams for more. Definitely something that I guess is new for everyone and we kind of had to learn it as we went. Um, I'm really grateful to have a great team um, behind me and helping me through this and I'm just super excited I get to work with both of these companies because um, I've formed great relationships with them and I'm really passionate about what we're doing so I'm excited. Emma Wyatt won 400 IM silver in Tokyo. It was a big summer. What's the transition to UVA been like? After coming off such a big summer with all the travel and everything, I was just really excited to get here and it also was like something new. So there was always something to think about, never really just like being stuck on what happened this summer. And you know, I think having teammates here that I've known for so long and just had a relationship with all the coaches for so many years with recruiting and everything. I was just super excited to get here and I think it's going really well. Emma's in good company at UVA, training with her Olympic teammates on a daily basis. Do they push her in practice? That's something you don't have a lot of places to have teammates who are at that level and also have similar goals as you. And I think that's super important, especially in training. Like I train with Paige pretty much every day and Alex and I mean just having people who push you and you know what their goals are and they know what yours are um, I think that only makes all of us better. Has being an Olympic medalist even sunk in for Emma? It still sounds crazy. I've shared my medal with so many people that like we're on the journey. I brought it home, brought it here, did some stuff with it uh, with my teammates as well and you know, it's just a really cool thing to have and look at all the time and also use it as like a motivation for what's to come. I want to go back to U.S. Olympic trials. Did Emma feel ready for the 400 AM right out of the gate, day one? That was definitely the first meet where I've had like my big event, day one, like event one, like be ready to go from the get-go. Um, but I think during training, we really took that into consideration and we made that a focal point. You know, when I was in Sarasota training um, with Brent Arkey, I think we were really prepared for trials. I felt really good going into trials. Nervous, of course, but um, prepared. And I think getting through prelims and like on to finals um, and just executing how we had practiced and really just being about the race. And I was happy with it. I mean, I, I was in a heat with people I've looked up to for a really long time, and I think they just made me better throughout the race. U.S. Olympic trials is nerve-wracking, and for a lot of athletes, more so than the Olympic Games. Was Emma nervous swimming in the final in Tokyo? Getting, like, the big nervous swim out of the way, because I think trials was definitely more stressful. You know, like, walking out at the Olympics, it was a really cool experience, but I felt like just excited to swim, and it was a really cool moment, um, but I definitely felt like a little more at ease. Emma's had a big year, a busy year. After the Olympics, what did she gain from her second Team USA trip at Short Course World Championships? I think Short Course Worlds was definitely a learning experience for me. You know, I think swimming wise, it was okay. I think throughout the meet, I was learning how to, you know, like swim my races in the Short Course Meter Pool and also use it as a racing experience. But I think just getting more international experience for me is only like gonna make it better. Um, and I also had some teammates from here go as well, so that was nice. What's Emma thinking looking ahead now the World Championships have been postponed? Coming into college and having like ACCs, NCs, and then going right into World Champ Trials, definitely like prioritizing um, when the rest would be and when we would try to be the best. And I think the goal is always to do the best we can throughout NCs, ACCs, and then obviously still have a big emphasis on World Champ Trials. It definitely does make it a little more difficult um, or confusing, I guess, just planning wise, but I think this might be a good thing in some ways to have World Champ Trials pushed a little bit because of NCs put more of a focus there, but you know, not having Worlds at the end of the summer or May even will be a little weird. Um, so I think just everyone right now is more worried about the planning part, just, you know, seeing when we can swim fast on course this summer because I know I had goals set and I know everyone else does as well, so. Emma, NC2A predictions. Emma's race and her teammates, Alex Walsh and Ella Nelson, for 400 IM dominance. Of course, they're gonna be fighting the Stanford defending champion, Brooke Forty. Emma's top three for sure, but if she's in the hunt at the 300 yard mark, 
I think she could squeak out a win. Maybe even helping UVA to a 1-2-3 finish. But who cares what I think? It's all about what you think. Drop your comments below. My apartment is Alex, Anna, and Abby, and we have a cat that we watch named Tiny. Um, but yeah, it's it's been the best, and I mean, this is the greatest team I could ask for, and I'm just so lucky to be a part of it. So you got to bypass the dorms. I did. I Fun fact, I was in the dorms for two days last year um, before going back to Sarasota, so I got all the experience I needed there.